Welcome to Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you 12 different methods to clean data using Power Query in Excel. Remove duplicates. We have a sample sales data here. And you can see that some of these reports are repeating multiple times. This particular record entry 101 is repeating two times. Then entry 102. So to remove the duplicate records of a data set, using Power Query, select a cell in the data set. In the Data tab, click on From Table Slash Range. Create Table dialog is activated and the entire data set is selected. OK. The data range is converted into an Excel table and the data is loaded into the Power Query Editor. Now to remove the duplicate records, in the Home tab, Remove Rows, Remove Duplicates. The duplicate records are all gone. Now to load this data into the same Excel worksheet, in the Home tab, Close and Load, Close and Load to. In the Import Data dialog, select Existing Worksheet. Now we have to specify the cell where we want to place the data. I will select this cell I2. OK. See the table which we created from this data using Power Query doesn't have any duplicate records. And here comes the best part. Whenever you add some new data to the source table or whenever you make some changes to the source table, you don't need to repeat these steps again and again. Just right click on the output table and select refresh. And you can also use the refresh button in the data tab. Let me add some more data here. Copy, paste. Now to update this table for the addition of new data, right click, refresh. See the table has been updated but without any duplicate records. Once again, data, refresh. The output table has been updated and the duplicate records are all gone. Add an index column. To add a new column to this data set, which contains automatically updating serial numbers, select a cell in this data set. In the data tab, from table slash range, create table. Data is loaded into the Power Query editor. To add an index column, go to the add column tab, index column. We have three options here, from 0, from 1, custom. When I select from 0, a new column called index is created with serial numbers starting from 0. Let me delete this. Once again index column. And when I select from 1, a new column will be created with serial numbers starting from 1. And if you want the serial number to start from a particular number, like 100 or 500. Let me delete this step. Once again, index column. Click on custom. Now type in the serial number from which you want to start with. I will use 501. Increment will be 1. And you can use whatever increment you like. Even negative numbers are allowed here. Okay. Now we have a new column called index with serial numbers starting from 501. And if you want to add some kind of prefix to the serial number, like ABC or XYZ, go to Transform tab, Format, Add Prefix. Now type in the prefix here. I will use XYZ hyphen. OK. Now all these serial numbers have this prefix XYZ. Now to reposition this column, 
either you can drag it like this otherwise right click on the column header move to beginning see the column for serial numbers has become the first column of the data set to rename this column double click on the column header let me rename this as serial number before loading this data into the excel sheet i have to change this data type right now it is date and time click on this icon date to load this data into the excel worksheet home tab close and load close and load to existing worksheet we'll select the cell i2 okay Now the transform data has a new column for serial numbers which start from XYZ501. Let me add some new data here. Copy. Paste. To update this table along with the serial numbers, right click. Refresh. See the table has been updated along with the serial numbers for the addition of data. Fill blanks. We have the scorecard of these candidates Hanna, Bruce, Oya, etc. of their physics, chemistry and biology exams. And you can see that some of these candidates haven't appeared for some exams and the corresponding cells are left blank. Now to fill these blank cells with a particular value like not present, not appeared or absent and that too in a single go. Select a cell in this data set. Go to the data tab from table slash range. Create table. Our scorecard is now loaded into the Power Query editor and the blank cells are now filled with null values. Also note that Power Query has detected the column value type as number. To replace these null values with the text like not present or absent, we have to change the column value type to text. For that, select the first column. Holding the shift key, select the last column. In the transform tab, change the data type to text. Replace current. Data type of the selected columns are now become text. Now to replace these null values, go to the home tab, replace values. In the input box under the label called value to find, type in null. Now the value to replace with. I will use absent here. OK. See the null values are replaced with absent. To load this data into our excel worksheet, close and load, close and load to existing worksheet, we'll select this cell G2, OK. See the blank cells are all replaced with absent. Let me add some more data here, copy, paste. To update this table, right click, refresh. Again the blank cells are replaced with absent. Extract or remove special characters. To extract or remove special characters such as hyphen, asterisk or exclamation mark from this data, select the data, go to the data tab from table slash range, create table. Add column, custom column. We'll rename this column as clean data. Now type in this formula, text.select function, open parenthesis, Double click on the column name containing data, comma, 
ओपन कर्ली ब्राकेट डबल कोट्स कैपिटल लेटर ए पीरियड वन सेकेंड पीरियड डबल कोट्स स्मॉल लेटर जेड कोमा डबल कोट्स सीरो पीरियड वन सेकेंड पीरियड डबल कोट्स नाइन क्लोजिंग कर्ली ब्राकेट क्लोज पैरासी टेक्स्ट टूट सेलेक्ट फंक्शन इज एन एम फंक्शन which is used to extract the characters specified inside the function here we have specified english alphabets and numerals inside the function so when i click okay the special characters are all removed and the english alphabets and numbers are extracted into this column now to extract only the special characters from this data once again custom column we'll rename this column as special characters now type in this formula text dot remove open parenthesis select the column containing data comma open curly bracket double quotes capital letter a period once again period double quotes small letter z comma double quotes zero period once again period double quotes nine closing curly bracket close parenthesis text dot remove is an m function which will remove the characters specified inside the function so when i click okay the english alphabets and numbers are removed from this data and the special characters are extracted into this column now if you want to extract only the numbers from this data once again custom column we'll rename this column as numbers now type in this formula text dot select open parenthesis text comma open curly bracket double quotes zero period one second period double quotes nine closing curly bracket close parenthesis okay and all those numbers in this data are extracted into this column before loading this data into the excel worksheet i will remove this column right click on this column header remove home close and load close and load to existing worksheet we'll select the cell d2 okay in the first column we have the data without the special characters in the second column we have only the special characters and the third column contains only the numbers let me add some more data here copy paste to update this table right click refresh change cases we can convert data into upper lower or proper cases using power query let's see how to do that select a cell in this data set data tab from table slash range create table to convert this data into lower upper or proper case right click on the column header transform select lower case for small letters upper case for capital letters and capitalize each word for proper case i will select lower case here all letters in the data have become small letters now to create a copy of this data in upper case go to the add column tab format select upper case we have a copy of the data with all letters in upper case now for a copy of this data in proper case format capitalize each word see the first letter of every word has become capital letter we'll change the column header lower upper proper to load this data into the excel worksheet home close and load close and load to existing worksheet we'll select the cell d2 okay 
in the first column data is in lower case in the second column data is in upper case in the third column data is in proper case let me add some more data here copy paste to update this table right click refresh unpivot columns sorting or filtering of data is not that easy when it is in report form moreover pivot tables are also not friendly with data in report format so to unpivot the data in these three columns or to convert this data into its simplest form select a cell in this data set in the data tab from table slash range create table Now to unpivot the data in these three columns, except the first column, select the first column, in the transform tab, unpivot columns, unpivot other columns. Data in the columns have been unpivoted. We'll change the column header, month, sales, now to load this data into the excel worksheet home tab close and load close and load to existing worksheet we'll select the cell j2 okay and here is the simplest form otherwise the pivot table friendly form of this data in report form let me add some more data to the source table copy paste right now we have the details from january up to march and when i refresh this table we have the details up to june remove columns again we have a set of data here that contains a lot of information. Now I want to create a table that contains three columns of this data. That is the column for date, region and sales. To create a dynamic table like that, select a cell in this data set. Go to the data tab from table slash range, create table. Data is loaded into the Power Query Editor. Now select the columns which you want to keep. I want only three columns of this data. The column for date, region and sales. Select the column for date. Holding the control key, select the column for region. Again holding the control key, select the column for sales. Right click on the column header remove other columns all other columns except date region and sales are gone before loading this data into the excel worksheet we have to do one more thing power query has detected this data type as date and time to change this data type into date click on this icon select date now to load this data into the excel worksheet close and load close and load to Existing worksheet. We'll select the cell J2. Okay. The table which we created using Power Query has only three columns date, region, and sales. Let me add some more data here. Copy, paste. To update this table, right click, refresh. Transpose data. To transpose this data, otherwise to interchange this data between rows and columns, select the data, 
go to the data tab from table slash range create table go to the transform tab and here is the option called transpose but before using this option we have to demote these column headers as first row otherwise we are going to lose that let me show you what i mean transpose and the column headers year actual sales and target are gone to avoid that let me delete this step to demote this column headers as first row use first row as headers use headers as first row the column headers came to the first row now click on transpose the data that were in rows are now in columns now to promote the values in the first row as headers Use first row as headers. Values in the first row as now become column headers. To load this data into the Excel worksheet, Home tab, Close and Load, Close and Load to Existing worksheet. We'll select the cell G2. OK. The data that you are in rows are now in columns. Let me add some more data here. Copy, paste. To update the output table, right click, refresh. 2019, 2020. Text to columns. Like the text to columns feature in Excel, Power Query also can be used to split data into different columns on the basis of a delimiter. See the data in this cell. Four different words are separated by three commas. And the adjacent cells are also following the same pattern. Now to split the data in these cells into four different columns, select a cell in this data set. In the data tab, from table slash range, Create table. To split this data into different columns, in the Home tab, Split column by delimiter. And you can see Power Query has already detected Home as the delimiter. But if you want to use a different delimiter, click on this down arrow for the drop down menu. Colon, equal sign, semicolon space tab and again if you want to use a different delimiter from the available options select custom and type in the delimiter of your choice here in this case i will go with comma okay the data in a single column is split into four different columns let me rename this column header we'll make it company Another way to rename a column header is right click on the column header, rename, district. Now the third method to rename a column, select the column, transform, rename, we'll rename it as state, double click on the column header, country. Now to load this data into the excel worksheet, home. Close and load, close and load to existing worksheet. We'll select this cell D2. OK. Data in this single column is split into four different columns. Let me add some more data here. Copy, paste. To update this table, right click. Refresh. Remove extra spaces. Check these five cells here. You can see the same sentence written in five different ways. In the first cell, there are extra spaces before the sentence. In the second cell, extra spaces after the sentence. In the third cell, extra spaces in between the sentence. 
in the fourth cell extra spaces before and after the sentence and in the fifth cell the sentence is written in the correct way now to remove the extra spaces before after and in between these sentences select a cell in this data set go to the data tab from table slash range create table data is loaded into the power query editor to remove the extra spaces before and after these sentences add column format select trim see the extra spaces before and after these sentences are gone but the extra spaces in between the sentence remain so if your data contains leading or trailing extra spaces you can use this method but to remove the extra spaces in between the sentences, we have to create a custom function. Let me show you how to do that. We'll delete this step. Now to create a custom function, queries, we'll make a copy of this query, right click, duplicate. To rename this query, right click, rename. We'll rename the query as space trim, enter. Once again, right click. Advanced editor, delete this data, open parenthesis, text as text equal greater than sign, next line, let space, next line, x equal text dot split function, open parenthesis, text comma double quotes space double quotes comma next line y equal list dot select function open parenthesis x comma each space underscore not equal to double quotes double quotes comma next line z equal text dot campaign function open parenthesis y comma double quotes space double quotes next line i n space next line z next line done and we have created a new function called space trim now back to the first query to remove the extra spaces before after and in between these sentences using this newly created function custom column we'll rename this column as without extra spaces now type in the newly created function space trim open parenthesis select the column containing data close parenthesis ok a new column is created which is a copy of this data and the extra spaces before after and in between the sentences are removed before loading this data into the excel worksheet i will remove this column right click on the column header remove home tab close and load close and load to existing worksheet we'll select this cell c3 okay the extra spaces before after and in between the sentences are gone let me add some more data copy paste to update the output table right click refresh see the extra spaces in these cells are removed Remove line breaks. If you see the cells here, the data is stored in four different lines. To remove these line breaks and to bring these four words into a single line, select a cell in this data set, go to the data tab from table slash range, create table. 
go to the transform tab format clean see the line breaks are all gone and the four words came into a single line now to load this data into a separate worksheet go to the home tab click on close and load the transform data is loaded into a separate worksheet let me add some more data here copy paste to update the output table back to the newly created worksheet right click refresh remove records containing errors again we have a scorecard here and you can see some of these records are containing errors division error value error reference error etc to remove these records containing errors and to clean this data select a cell in this data set in the data tab from table slash range create table data is loaded into the power query editor now to remove the rows containing errors press ctrl a entire data set is selected in the home tab remove rows remove errors the records containing errors are all gone now to load this data into the excel worksheet in the home tab close and load close and load to existing worksheet we'll select the cell i2 ok see the transform data doesn't have any error values let me add some more data here copy paste to update this output table right click refresh see the output table has been updated with the newly added data but the error records are all ignored i hope you will find this video useful for feedback and discussion please make use of the comment section and those who are visiting this channel for the first time subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases thanks for watching have a great day